What is up with you guys? It's Sir Wonder Girl again, Chasing Cha, and welcome to another travel vlog. If you're new here, I'm Cha. I do travel vlogs and I feature places with estimated budget expenses and travel itineraries. So without further ado, join me on my escapade here in Bali! I'm with my sister at the back and my cousin so they're already taking the pictures and now we're just waiting for our tour guide um, to tour us around the city and tomorrow we're just gonna stay here um, two days and one night so tomorrow we're just gonna go surfing and enjoy all this beautiful beach as you've seen on the introduction but now we're going on a city tour um we're going to the Baler museum and the lighthouse the rock formation and all of that so we're going to pay 600 for that and by the way um we came from Cobao, so we it's now 10 in the morning and we left uh Cobao at around 3 a.m. So for you guys who's going here in Balet, there is um, two um, bus liners that offers a direct transportation from here. This, there is a Genesis liner and Joy bus, I think. But um, you need to have a reservation first because uh, it's a limited seat. Um, kanina we got a prob, we had a problem because there's no available seat and we're already trans passengers so what we did is that we rode um, a bus going to Cabanatuan that's ES transport going to Cabanatuan that cost us 202 pesos and then from Cabanatuan we rode a UV van a UV um, going here in Valer that cost us 220 so that's a total of 422 which is a lot and much cheaper than if you go directly here from Cubao which I think Genesis liner costs 600 pesos and the Joy bus is around 800 so 50% and a little bit of 20% off we got a discount about that much so and it's well the diff about the trip it's a little bit long but we just got here around five hours or so we left there three we arrived here at around around nine so maybe six five to six hours not bad for you know a cut trip so i'll update you guys and i'm gonna tour you around here in nala surf pump in a bit so check all this footage out
first stop is this Ermita Hill, which cost um, a 15 pesos entrance fee. A long time ago, there's a tsunami that occurred here in Ermita Hill, and as you can see, at my back. That beautiful scenery was destroyed due to, due to the tsunami and only seven families um, who went up here survived the tsunami. So it is a perfect place to view the um, whole scenery and whole beach of Balen. So we're now here in Digisip Falls, did I pronounce that right? So Digisip Falls is a falls near the rock formation and the lighthouse here in Bel Air. It is not the famous mother falls or the father falls here but it's really pretty. You have to check this out. And by the way, there's no entrance fee so for you guys going here, be um, a responsible tourist, a responsible traveler, and keep your trash with you because we don't want to litter on this beautiful and majestic place. So, I can't vlog anymore. Let's go. Now here in the Gisit Rock Formation that is situated here in Sitio de Gisit, Barangay Sabang and um, if you're going to visit the de Gisit Rock Formation you also want to check out the de Gisit Lighthouse so um, right now we're going there it's a 20 minute trek not really trek pero medyo mataas kasi siya <laughs> and it's already 11.30 a.m. At tarik na tarik ang araw. Hindi nyo makakita ang face ko. But the view, guys, is really superb. You just wanna check this out. And um, the entrance fee here is 10 pesos only. So, sana abot ang 10 pesos mo. Look at that! Baler. Though I can't pronounce it right, but I love Baler. Hi, so majestic. Ang ganda. I'm gonna stop vlogging now, and I'll see you guys when we reach the top. So, bye. Five minutes later. The top of the lighthouse. Ganda.
Amco Beach in the Gisit. Um, Sitio the Gisit in Barangay Sabang. The entrance fee here is 20 pesos and as you can see there's a majestic rock formation at the back so you can take pictures there and just don't forget not to litter guys because wala maglilinis na iba and you have to remember to preserve this beauty so there after taking so many pictures right here I'm gonna post them on my Instagram please follow me back Please follow me on Instagram, that's a chasing chat. So you can see all my photos there. And yeah, thank you so much for following. And those who are already following me, thank you so much, guys. And you can see my face because it's against the light. So I'm really haggard. And right now, we're going for um, back to Nalu Beach um, and check in. It's already 1.30. And then after that, we're going to the Hanging Bridge. Uh, before ha going to hangi the Hanging Bridge, we're gonna have um, a late lunch. So let's go. We're now here in Picnic Bay. It costs 200 pesos per plate, and it's an it all you can do thing. So let's dig in. <laughs> Now here in um, Kazan's house, Manuel L. Kazan's house. It is situated here near the Museo de Ballet. So it is not the actual house, but it is the replica, the actual replica of the house, and it is the um, it is the land where the original house was built in. Sorry, yung part, pero so pretty, guys. I wish I had this kind of playground when I was a kid. So, activities And after this, we're going back to the Nalu Surf Camp. To check in our things. So, see you guys in a bit. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just woke up from. How long hours? Ba? More than 10 hours sleep. I'm so tired yesterday. We had the time to explore more of the beach and I didn't have the time to vlog because I was so so tired from all the walkathons from the day turtles yesterday so right now it's already um, but it's already 9 a.m. and we're having a breakfast here at beach front beach front of the Nalu surf camp and we're just waiting for our order. By the way, um, our hotel cost us 3,500. No, good for four person, and it is booked by Amy, my sister's friend. Sadly, she wasn't able to come because of her work, so we ended up here with this one. <laughs> And after this, we're going to sorry about my voice. And after this, we're going to serve um, for about an art um, that costs 
3,500. 350 pesos for um, the surfing coach and 200 pesos for an hour rental of the surfboard. second time already to go surfing. The first one was in La Union way back in my college days. So, parang tagal na. And now, here again. Hindi ko alam kung may natutunan ba ako dun or whatsoever. But, we'll see. So, let's go. So we've just finished um, learning how to surf. And eventually, nakatayo naman ako kahit pa paano. But those skills that I've learned um, for the first time that I went surfing in La Union, medyo hindi ko na siya nagamit. So if you want to gain this skill, I suggest that um, continually, you're gonna have to do it. So, yun. And then, by the way, I the surfing fee is 350 only, inclusive of the boat. And, yeah. Hindi mo na pala kailangan mag mag rent ng separate ng surfing board but if you know how to surf then you surfing board na lang yung rent mo which is 200 per hour 400 for half day and i forgot the rate for the whole day so there and right now we're here at the pool side of the nalo camp i uh, nalo surf camp so we're gonna check out around 12 it's already 11 30 so we're just gonna take a quick dip here take some pictures and then we're just gonna go and nauunas na sila mag take ng pictures so there by the way this is the perfect getaway for you guys if you want to have to just you know have a quick ano quick matakas quick getaway from the city it's just um seven to five hours and you can do a lot of activities here in ballet Aurora. it's really one of my um one of my dream destinations here in Luzon, Ballet Aurora, and now I'm here. Um, there. So, pinapalis nila ako kasi they taking pictures. So, I'm so happy that I'm here, and yeah, the old way of thinking about traveling is that, you know, work now, travel later, but I guess that's not just the case for me. I think if you have time, if you have the energy and the money, why not travel? Because there are a lot of new ways, there's a lot of uh, realizations that you might encounter here. So, and if you have some free free time during weekends, if you're a student or a young professional like me and doesn't have um, a, too much of a free week uh, weekdays, then um, used get um, used your weekdays or the special holidays to do and plan that trip it doesn't have to be that grand it doesn't have to cost much it doesn't have to be that far there are a lot of places that you can he explore here in the zone south and there so I hope you guys can I hope this video encourage you to travel more and explore more of this um, country of our country the Philippines because um, if you're gonna see how beautiful it is you can fall in love and as well as take care of this beautiful country so that's it um, I'm just gonna take a quick leap take some pictures for the gram and that's it thank you guys for watching this travel vlog if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel that's at Chasing Cha and please follow me on Instagram that's at Chasing Cha and don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button and the like button. Thank you guys for watching and please leave a comment below on which part of this trip do you like most. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!